Before I even start, we have to admit, Creed Aventus is one of the most legendary status fragrances in the game. When you picture the Wolf of Wall Street, he was wearing this fragrance. When you picture Don Draper, he was wearing this fragrance. When you picture a billionaire, mega superstar, rich Wall Street kind of guy who truly cares about status, who truly cares about money, close your eyes and imagine what fragrance would he be wearing? It has to be none other than Creed Aventus. Now, you might be wondering, Hamza, I saw Creed Aventus and I saw this thing called Creed Aventus Cologne. I'm not sure. What is the difference between these two? Can you break it down for me real quick? Now, before I break it down, I'm also a very transparent reviewer and I value time more than anything. If you own any of these fragrances right here, you don't need the other. You could literally skip the rest of the video right now and have a wonderful day. But if you're somebody who's still debating on getting one of these fragrances right here, or you're just curious, why don't I need the other one? I'll break it down for you very quick in this video, okay? So the first thing you wanna know is Creed Aventus Cologne. It smells like Creed Aventus, except it's fresher, brighter, with more citruses. Now imagine I went to the perfumer and I said, hey, listen, one of our big top clients, the big Wall Street hedge fund owner, he loves Creed Aventus. That's his favorite fragrance. He just wants it to be more yacht, okay? He wants more yacht. That's what he said when he sent us a description. He said he wants Creed Aventus more yacht, meaning he wants it to be fresher, brighter, more citrus, this is literally what you get. Creed Aventus Cologne, it's literally so redundant that you don't need to own both. Second thing you should know about these fragrances right here is when it comes to the performance, I will say Creed Aventus Cologne projects a little bit more than Creed Aventus. Longevity is about the same, but when I spray this one, two, three hours later, I still feel it lingering in the air. I get whiffs of it. I don't know. This one right here just projects a little bit more. Now, another surprising thing. Notice how the tides have been shifting, right? This one right here, Creed Aventus Cologne, gets me way more compliments. I don't know why. I wish I could break it down to you, but whenever I have any of my female friends come into the studio and I'm showing them fragrances, I'm like, which one do you like between these two? 100% of the time, they say they like Creed Aventus Cologne more. Maybe because it smells fresher and cleaner. I really can't tell you the exact reasons because they're so similar to each other. But when it comes to ladies' reactions, I literally get more compliments out of Creed Aventus Cologne versus Creed Aventus. Now you might be wondering to yourself, Hamza, why do you own both? Why is it that you own both and you're telling me to only own one? You said it's redundant. You sound like a hypocrite. Well, let me tell you the honest truth. I bought this one right here because I truly love the fact that it reminds me of status. It gives me confidence every time I spray it. I am a victim of the hype, ladies and gentlemen. I have to be honest with you. Do I think owning any of these fragrances is worth it? For the value, no. Again, for like four or 500 bucks, I could build an entire collection of fragrances. I could get Bleu de Chanel Parfum. I could get myself something like Spice Bomb Extreme, Dolce Cabana, the one. I mean, the combination of fragrances I could put together for $400 is crazy to me. And I could do so much more with that money than owning Creed Aventus. But again, it's the fact that I'm into fragrances. This is a modern day masterpiece that I was like, you know what? I need this in my collection. The reason I own Creed Aventus Cologne is because one day I was going to Marshall's and I found this one right here for $1.99 on Red Sticker. It was such a steal of a deal that I bought it. I said, you know what? Just do it. It is what it is. Now that I own both though, and I've experienced with both, if I ran out of these two fragrances and I had to only keep one, which one would I rebuy? This might surprise you, but I will buy Creed Aventus Cologne. The reason I say that is this. I always wanted a fresher take on Aventus. I love Aventus. It's great the way it is, and you might love it the way it is yourself. And if you already own this one, again, you don't need this one. But for me, I'm a sucker for fresh fragrances. It's my favorite genre of fragrances. I believe fresh fragrances are extremely masculine. It's versatile fragrance kind of profile. They could wear for any situation, any occasion. It's inoffensive, it's clean. 
I love it. And this one gave me exactly what I wanted out of Aventus, a fresher take on original DNA. And it does well when it comes to the performance. It's not like beast mode or anything like that, but six, seven hours of performance is enough for me because normally I wear a different fragrance in the evening. So for me, it does the job. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Compliments is not the most important thing when it comes to fragrances. The most important thing, honestly, is finding a fragrance that you truly enjoy, a fragrance that works within your budget, a fragrance that gives you the confidence and makes you feel good about yourself. That is the most important thing when it comes to fragrances. But the reason I say compliments is important to me personally is because I put a lot of effort into my fragrances. I love fragrances. It's something I'm truly passionate about. And every time I'm doing a review for you guys, I like to take my time with it. I don't like to rush it. I like to truly experience a fragrance. And when I get a compliment on something, it makes me feel like I'm doing a great job. It makes me feel like my effort is being appreciated. The best way to explain it is like, you haven't worn a suit in a long time, you put it on and everybody comes up to you and says, oh man, you look sharp, you look good. And all of a sudden you walk onto the bus and somebody's like, don't worry about it, don't even scan it. Or you go to like the coffee shop and the girl sees you, she's like, wow, this guy looks so sharp in the suit. And she's like, coffee's on the house. You're like, wow, what did I do, right? That's what I love when it comes to fragrances, is being appreciated for the effort that I put into it. And when I compare these two, I do get compliments with the original Aventus, but this one just gets me more compliments. So for that reason, if I had to buy another one, I would buy Creed Aventus Cologne, and it will be replacing the original Aventus for me. I hope you guys enjoyed my comparison between Creed Aventus and Creed Aventus Cologne, but again, guys, if you own either of these fragrances, you don't need the other, it's a bit redundant. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below of what you want to see next. Have a good day, guys.